This is Earth, our home. Ever since the start of the Industrial Revolution in the early 1800s, CO2 emissions have increased more and more over the last 200 years. Just in the last 10 years alone, the world has produced more CO2 emissions than in the first 160 years since the Industrial Revolution began, and this is increasing at an alarming rate. The Earth is experiencing a phenomenon known as climate change. Climate change is defined as a long-term change in the overall global temperature that have permanent effects on the environment. The main causes of climate change are the use of fossil fuels, which is our main emitter of CO2, deforestation, which is limiting our ability to absorb CO2 from the atmosphere, and having increasingly intensive agriculture, which is releasing large amounts of methane and nitrous oxide into the atmosphere. So how are these gases affecting the Earth? As the sun's rays hit the Earth's surface, the Earth absorbs some of that energy. The rest of that energy gets radiated back into space, but most of it gets trapped in our atmosphere due to greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases are natural to the planet and are actually a good thing to have to help regulate temperature. But too much of them can have devastating consequences, causing more heat to get trapped, which makes the Earth warm up even more. A warmer climate means it affects ecosystems around the world, most notably in the oceans. This slight increase in global temperature creates a phenomenon known as ocean acidification, which occurs when CO2 interacts with the salt water. Unable to adapt to the new environment, marine species start to die off because of the increased acidity in the oceans. This is a major problem because more than 1 billion people depend on marine life as their main source of food. With warming oceans comes the melting of the polar ice caps. According to a study done by NASA, the overall loss of ice in the 2010s was around 475 billion tons. This is six times greater than the 81 billion tons lost in the 1990s. Scientists are predicting a global sea level rise of about 53 centimeters by the year 2100. This will have massive impacts on the 400 million people living in coastal regions where they're exposed to tremendous flooding and destruction. So what can we do to limit the effects of climate change? We can transition from using fossil fuels to more renewable sources like solar, wind, hydro, and nuclear power. Today, vehicles contribute to 75% of transport emissions which equates to about 6 billion tons of CO2 a year. If we replace everything with electric vehicles, this will not only reduce CO2 emissions, but will create more sustainable vehicles for the future. To limit the effects of deforestation, we must crack down on logging companies destroying our forests around the world. We can build them back up by planting more trees, using less paper, and recycling. Deforestation contributes to about 20% of all carbon emissions worldwide, and this can easily be reduced if we just choose to take action. The waste that is produced by agriculture adds around 200 tons of methane and nitrous oxide to the atmosphere every year. Although it's less, methane is 28 times more powerful at trapping heat than CO2. To limit the emission of this gas, we can take action by converting it into energy, eating less meat, and supporting organic farming. As we move towards alternatives that are less impactful to the environment, these changes will slow and hopefully eliminate climate change altogether.